Here we have a small cardboard box. On the side it says Otis King Calculator Model K and a serial number. Let's open it up. Some instructions and here is the calculator itself. This calculator is really a slide rule but instead of uh, on a, a ruler, sort of straighter, it's wrapped around a cylinder. You can pull this all the way out and this moves as well. So we have two scales, one scale on this section and one scale on this section. These two scales are both uh, spaced uh, logarithmically so that allows you to do multiplication or division because mechanically this is just addition but because it's spaced logarithmically it it's, uh, converts it to, uh, to multiplication or division. If you're familiar with uh, normal slide rules these are just C and D scales essentially. And uh, yeah, because it wraps around this cylinder so so often, uh, it's really quite long. If you had to roll this out and lay it out flat on an ordinary slide scale, a slide roll, then it would be about, uh, they say it's about 66 inches long, sort of uh, more than a meter and a half. And uh, yeah, anyway, it's... Uh, very straightforward to use. The first thing you do is uh, move this indicator tube and uh, align it up with uh, the number you want to uh, multiply with. Let's say we want to multiply by 2. The 2 is right there. So we align this, this uh, marker, this line. We put that on the number 2. Now we can move this other scale. Uh, we put that on the 1. The 1 is easy to find because it lines up with this notch in, at the top here. So you line this up with the 1 in the middle of the scale. Like that. So it says 2 here and 1 there. And if you now move this indicator around the number here is always twice the number there. So if you move this to uh, some number like uh, like 4 up there, then the indi number indicated at the bottom will be 8, twice the number at the top. At all times now this is twice what's at the top. Of course you can also then divide by 2 just by li lining it up at the bottom end. If I line this up with the 5 here, at the top you'll read off 2.5. So uh, to, yeah, to do another multiplication you just do the same thing. Line the bottom one up with say uh, 3. Line the top one up with the 1. And yeah, now the top scale is always one third the bottom scale, or the bottom scale is three times the top scale. And you can move it around, so three times uh, six here, sorry, one third of six here will be two. And if I do it the other way, if I move this up to four, ah, I can't quite reach the four, but I can move it down to the other four up here. So if I put this on 4, down here you can see 12. Of course the, uh, the decimal points are completely ignored, so this scale goes from 1 at the bottom all the way up to 1 in the middle, which is really uh, 10, and then it, goes, it repeats uh, all the way up to 
another one at the top, which is then really a hundred. So this, this covers two uh, orders of magnitude, whereas this bottom skull only covers one order of magnitude. There's a patent number down here, Otis King's patent. That's a, a UK patent and it describes this, uh, this design. Otis King was an engineer and uh, yeah, he designed this in around 1921, that's when it was patented. At the time he was uh, working at a grocer's, which was probably a family uh, business, but before that he'd worked for the English Electric Company and soon after that he went to work for Carbic Limited and they started producing this calculator. Uh, Carbic Limited was a company that was specialized in calcium carbide and that's a substance that when you uh, mix it with water it produces acetylene which is very flammable so you'd have carbide lamps which would uh, burn this acetylene but also um, it was used for oxyacetylene uh, welding and um, Carbic Limited had invented a, uh, uh, a thing they called Carbic Cakes which is just uh, yeah, tablets of this uh, calcium carbide uh, sealed off with uh, wax and, and, or something like that so that it would uh, keep forever and uh, was easier to use and they made lamps and welding equipment that would uh, use those tablets and uh, yeah they were very success successful with that. Um, Otis King uh, left Carbic uh, in about 1927 and he doesn't seem to have had any further involvement with the calculator. Carbic uh, continued to make that calculator all the way until the uh, early 1970s. Probably much longer than they were actually doing anything with, with uh, calcium carbide. So that was the uh, Otis King calculator. Thank you for watching.